Hey guys, Kurt here from Convertica, and today we're going to talk about heat map. Heat maps are a very important tool to have in your your toolkit when when starting conversion rate optimization, as it allows you to identify areas on your website that you need to test or where users are maybe confused. Heat maps create a visual representation of the user's behavior on the website, so you can easily make decisions. And for more visual people that can't just get good ideas from just spreadsheets alone and so on heat maps are a great way to help you to to identify where where the issues are on the website so it's important to understand though that heat maps alone will not increase your conversion rates it's a it's a tool in the toolkit that can help you to start the process of conversion rate optimization and help you to increase conversions on your website so we just up, jumped over to convertica.org, our website, and I'm going to show you some real, uh, real use cases of how how we actually use this in a split test. So um, this, this lead capture up the top here has been our biggest driver of leads since we started the company. So we've had very good success with with this little setup, but you know, with with split testing, we know we can always improve it more. So how this works is someone comes to our website, they want a free conversion rate audit. Uh, our team will actually go through and look at their, their website, break it down step by step on how we'd increase conversions and, and send that through in a PDF. And this is also to pre-qualify the visitor. They are willing to share a bit of information with us um, so that we can, we can possibly work together. So we ask for monetization method. In our case, it would be lead generation. Uh, we ask for traffic or monthly unique visitors, which for us is zero to 50,000, and then the website, and we send that through. Uh, we also have uh, this feature here, which shows what step we are at, and this just shows we're at the last, last step now. When we ran a split test on this, we were split testing, dropping out this traffic request and just requesting the monetization method. And in VWO, which is the split testing software we use, it automatically records a, a heat map of each of the variations so you can get more further insight. And upon running the split test, I think we had around 2000 views on this split test, we were able to get some other insight, insight due to the heat maps, which uh, further validates the importance of, of running heat maps on your website. So we can see here, this was what it looked like after we finished running running the split test, we can see that a lot of people were clicking the the Convertica logo. And how we can see that is the darker the color, so the more red it is, um, means that it had more interaction. And then also the pricing guide, uh, we could see that that had a lot of, lot of interaction as well as services, contact us and about us, but people trying to find out more about what we do and who we are. But this was also interesting too. This may be an issue. Um, people may, people have been clicking here thinking that this is something they need to do or it could be just confusing them. So we're gonna run another split test based off looking at these heat maps um, by removing removing that area uh, as it may be hindering more than helping people um, on their journey to, to submit a lead. So that in itself was a huge takeaway. And then in VWO, uh, I know that Hotjar does this where it overlays the heat map and the click map as one. So you can hover over this cluster of heat maps and it will show you the number, but in, in Hotjar you can't. So we can see that 18% of all clicks um, go through, uh, click through to the affiliate, 11% here, and 10% of all clicks on page click the pricing guide with 24% of all clicks on links. So interesting takeaway, and this is exactly what we use heat maps for, is to get just this insight. Like I said earlier, heat maps alone will not increase your conversion rates. That is a tool to help and assist you in coming up with better ideas, coming up with test uh, test hypothesis, coming up with ways that you could see possibly that your users are, are getting confused or, or are not exactly sure where to go. So this is just a little breakdown of, of, uh, of how it works.